doing? Nothing. They look like you were posing. Oh, all right. Maybe I was trying to appear more heroic. I mean, look at my ancestors. Lord Zircon the Mighty, veteran of a hundred campaigns. Commander Zeglak, sole survivor of the fourth quadrant skirmish. And me. I should be a hero like my ancestors. What went wrong? Oh, well, you've always been my hero. Can I get your autograph? Really? All right. Anything for a fan? <laughs> I, Commander Zhang, am a monkey-faced pants lord. Uh, uh, How dare you mock me! Oh, uh, stop moaning! It's time to watch our real heroes on Danny's house. Commander Zeglak would have never put up with this nonsense. Commander Zeglak wasn't a monkey-faced pants lord. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, great to see you. My name's Danny, and this is her best friend Sam. Sam, as I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is her other best friend Jack. Snuffing his face as usual. As I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is her brother Max. I need to make Ben. Come on, go away! Quiet! As I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is Danny. Wow. We're trapped in some kind of net. Yes, thanks for pointing out the obvious, Jack. <laughs> ben, help me stop the device quick. But you can't stop it. We'll just throw it out the window. We can't. Once activated, the device has a motion sensor. Moving it will set it off. Well, just throw something over the top of it. Like what? Like Ben. <gasps> no time. There's only five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. What seems to be the problem, Mr. Kestrel? Mr. Kestrel. <clears throat> Mr. Kestrel. Mr. Kestrel. Oh, hey guys, you just caught me learning my lines. <laughs> Quite on set. Oh, better go. Job to do. Rolling and action. <laughs> to be the problem, Mr. Kestrel. I understand you've been having some chest pains. Nurse, can you mend a broken heart? <laughs> you flattered, Mr. Kestrel, but I'm already married to my job. <laughs> and cut. Let's reset for another take. Nanny, I have a task for you. Oh, I know I didn't nail that Mr. Kestrel line. I'm not that. This. Look at all your fan mail. I have fans. You sound surprised. Oh, of course I'm surprised. There's tons of it. Are you sure they've got the right Danny? You're a TV star now. You're someone special. And answering fan mail is part of the job. I want every single one of these letters answered by tomorrow. Oh, well, I've got stuff to do tonight. You don't want to disappoint your fans, do you? No, of course not. Fabulous. By tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Tomorrow. <laughs> Cushions plumped. Check. Pretzels ready. Check. Fresh batteries in the remote. Check. Then we're ready for a long day of couch potatoing. <laughs> I'm flattered, Mr. Kestrel, but I'm already married to my job. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> turn off my horrible sister. There's no escape from her now she's on TV. Perhaps you should start watching telly with your eyes closed and your fingers in your ears. It would be just our luck that Danny will be a hero to millions of impressionable young fools and we will be forgotten. Wish we could be heroes. That's it! Ben, we can be heroes. Better than heroes. What's better than a hero? Think about it. A giant chocolate goose you can ride on? A superhero. You and I are going to be the first real superheroes this world has ever seen. See how Danny likes it when everyone is hailing us for our heroic deeds. Sounds good to me. High five. <laughs> Up above. <laughs> Down below. Ooh, too slow. <laughs> oh, great. An astronaut running on a treadmill. I must still be dreaming. I thought it was a bit strange my grandma's hiding in my wardrobe this morning. <laughs> 
You're not Jamie and Jack. So my gran was hiding in my wardrobe. Oh. I'm preparing for my NASA entry test. Astronauts must endure extreme physical stress by solving complex mental problems. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up a minute, Buzz Lightyear. You're applying for a job at NASA? I most certainly am. Okay, back up a bit further. What's NASA? <laughs> the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Back up even more. What do any of those words mean? NASA runs America's space program. You know about space, don't you? You've got plenty between your ears. <laughs> you know, it's a miracle you don't just laugh yourself into orbit. Can you imagine being the first woman on Mars, Jack? No, I can't imagine being a woman, full stop. <laughs> just stay out of my way, OK? Danny said I could use a den to practice for my DJ showcase. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Those sacks contain all the birthday presents you forgot to give me, right? It's my fan mail. You don't look very happy about it. My producer wants me to answer it all by tomorrow. I didn't realise getting this job would make me so popular. Isn't being popular a good thing? <laughs> like you'd know, Professor No Mates. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Maxima. And I'm fantastic. Wherever there is injustice, we shall be there. Oh, stop fidgeting. This is tight. It's the comium, too. Oh, that got it. <laughs> Dear Danny, you're the most awesomest person I know, and I want to be just like you when I grow up. Man, they really think you're something special, don't they? They don't even know me. Oh, you better get used to it. Being on TV means you're a role model now. Well, better get started. Don't let anyone down. <laughs> it must be weird knowing all these people watch you on TV. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> Day 20. My ascent of Mount Fanmail proceeds slowly. Our party has suffered casualties. It has been two days since Johnson left the tent to find his dropped pen. I fear he may be lost. What's that? Johnson, is that you? Rations are low. I'm down to my last packet of crisps. <laughs> oh, cheesy weasel flavour. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we look lush, but aren't superheroes supposed to have powers? The Hulk was transformed by gamma rays, Spider-Man was bitten by a radioactive spider, Tadpole Boy drank a bucket of toxic frog spawn. When are we going to find gamma rays or toxic frog spawn? I could try licking your microwave. Mm, that didn't work the last two times. Anyway, what about Iron Man or Batman? They don't have powers, just cool gadgets. We don't have gadgets either. Check your utility belt. Wicked! Nail clippers! <laughs> and if I press this button here... <laughs> Cutlery claws! Now I'm tooled up for any dining emergency. <laughs> ha! Somebody needs us! <laughs> Stand back, citizens. We will handle this. Max, get lost. How do you know I was asked? Well, who else would it be? Why are you dressed like that? Cakes are very in this season. What he means is, we're superheroes now. We heard a scream and came to help. I was screaming because I'm stressed out. Being famous is such a hassle. Famous? Just because you're on some rubbish soap opera doesn't mean you're famous. Well, Danny's mountain of fan mail says otherwise. Fans? Si since when did you have fans? <laughs> Danny's a role model now. She's a hero to millions. Fans? Fan mail? Famous? Pa! 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 Dear Danny, if I was even 10% as great as you, my life would be so much better. Oh, I almost can't bear to read another letter saying how amazing I am. All right, just one more then. <laughs> Dear brilliant Danny, I wish I was as glamorous and talented as you. Oh, bless them. It is kind of sweet how they'd like to be like me. You mean they want to be like the sort of person they think you are? Yeah, that. <laughs> Come, fantastic. Let us go on patrol and prove to these losers what a real hero is. <laughs> swishy, swishy, swishy. <laughs> to assist you, citizen. We'll help you cross the road. But no need to thank us. But I don't want to cross the road. I don't... <laughs>
You, citizen. My cat won't come down from that tree. Leave it to us. Fantastic. Call the cat. What should I call it? Let <laughs> it down from the tree. Oh, okay. Hey, kitty, 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 kitty. Ah! Wow! Ah! Fantastic! <laughs> I got away. You failed again. Oh no, I ripped my cane. <laughs> Face it, Ben. We suck at being superheroes. We suck and blow at the same time. I thought being a hero would be easy. We should be the ones getting the fan mail, not Danny. It certainly isn't easy being a hero. You're right, Ben. Doing good deeds just isn't in my nature. That's it. We should be super villains instead. Oh, Max, that's genius. May I pat you on the back? Uh, no. Instead of trying to beat her at her own game, we spoil Danny's newfound fame by being evil. Well, okay. But can I finish this cake first? It's chocolate. Hmm. Need more sprinkles. <laughs> Your evil persona definitely needs work. <laughs> Dear Danny, I thought you looked amazing on McCurtis the other night. How can I get my hair as luscious as yours? I'm so lucky to have such incredible fans. Hello, Danny speaking. Sweetie, it's Serena. I have another task. Oh, it's not more fan mail, is it? A magazine was running a competition for one lucky winner to go for dinner with their favourite member of the McHurtis Hospital cast. Well, how would you like to meet your number one fan? Are you kidding? Does this face look like it's kidding? I have no idea. I can't see it. Listen, Serena, I mean, it's one thing answering fan mail, but I'm not sure I'm actually ready to meet the fans. Why not? Well, what if I'm a disappointment in person? All these girls seem to think I'm some sort of celebrity. Darling, you're on television. You're a star now. It's about time you started acting like one. Now, your fan will be there about half past five. She's expecting dinner. What? They're coming here? To my house? <laughs> Is that a problem? No, 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 no problem. Bye. Right, OK, you're a celebrity. And if this fan of mine wants to meet Danny the Star in her swanky celeb hangout, then who am I to disappoint her? I am going to be the celebiest celeb ever. <laughs> But then, Danny, how would you like to be the first ever member of the Coordinator Zhang fan club? Don't you have to be famous to have a fan club? <laughs> That's a technicality. Look at the amazing free gifts you get when you sign up. The Coordinator Zhang t-shirt and hat combo. <laughs> the monthly Coordinator Zhang newsletter. This month's issue features ten things you never knew about me. And finally, the Coordinator Zhang action figure. If you press this button, it says one of five coordinators and phrases, so you can hear my wisdom wherever you go. <laughs> it sounds like the sort of noise you'd make. Stupid, cheap rubbish. <laughs> we shall become evil, Ben. We'll become so evil, we'll make lambs cry. Just by dreaming about them. <laughs> Maxman, Bentastic have gone forever. Say hello to Maximum Destruction <laughs> and Fluffy Bunny Boy. <laughs> then we agreed you're Benagizer. Do it again. Fine, sorry. <laughs> and Benagizer. <laughs> 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 Tea. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Daddy, we're back. What's going on in here? Whoa. 
Sam, Jack, darlings. She's cracked under the pressure of fame. I've heard about this. Lenny, what have you done? Come through to the den. I'll explain everything. Am I seeing things? Or was that a dog she was carrying? Either that or she's got a new hound bag. <laughs> <laughs> hound bag, isn't it? Oh, handbag. Did you get that? Awful. Well, <laughs> My number one fan is coming over for dinner, and I want my entire entourage to be there with me. Your entourage? Sammy Wu and Jackie Work, hello. <laughs> are you referring to us? Danny, where are my decks? Yeah, and where is my treadmill and my spacesuit? I put them away. I need this house to look like a trendy celebrity pad. I can't have your stuff cluttering up the place. <laughs> look, guys, I need your help. Now that I'm famous, people expect me to act a certain way. Why aren't you just pretending to be someone that you're not? I can't be me. I disappoint my fan. She'll be expecting some glamorous celebrity who lives a life of premieres and parties. Well, shouldn't you just be yourself? Yeah, well, we like you as you normally are. I'm sure your fan will too. Or maybe she'll take one look at me and think I'm a total nobody. Behold us. What are you supposed to be? I'm Benegizer, the embodiment of ultimate evil. And I'm maximum destruction. <laughs> We're so evil, we make Voldemort look like a roll of lavatory tissue. Look, I've got someone really important coming round. I don't need anything embarrassing me. And that means two supervillains running around. Sorry, Danny. Evil! <laughs> oh, sorry, Max. I mean, uh, I'm not sorry. I'm evil. I'm so evil. I make the Green Goblin look like a pastry chef. I'm so evil. Yes, we get the idea. Let's get out of here. Watch yourself, Danny. You never know when we might strike. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Having those two idiots running around is the last thing I need. Please, guys, just for tonight, help me be a star. Okay. <laughs> you better not scratch my decks. Or damage my spacesuit. They're safe and sound, I promise. <laughs> Aren't they, Vivian? Just do Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I'm doing this for Danny. I'm doing this to get my decks back. This whole thing is stupid. Smile. <laughs> Danny! Danny, give me a D! Give me an A! Give me an A! Give me an A! Oh, give me a pair of earplugs. I'm Olivia, Danny's number one fan. You're not Danny. And neither are you. I wasn't the last time I looked, no. We're Danny's friends. You're Danny's friends! <laughs> what is she like? Tell me. I can't believe you actually know her. I can't believe I've met two people who are Danny's actual real friends. <laughs> well, if you just give us a chance, we'll take you to meet her. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to meet Danny. I love Danny so much. I'm a total Danny freak. Do you think she's excited to meet Danny? I think she needs a tranquilizer dart. <laughs> Down there, straight to your left. <laughs> So Danny's fan has come to dinner. You know what this means, don't you, Ben? It's going to be a white Christmas this year? <laughs> it means we have a way to strike our arch enemy where it hurts the most. The sternum? Her fan base. Sounds painful. Oh, we're going to win big at the Super Villain Awards this year. We're going to win real big. <laughs> And the award for most evil villain of the year goes to... Benegizer! <laughs> what? It's a fix! Wow! There are so many people I want to thank. Well, firstly, everyone at the Legion of Ultimate Evil, especially Captain Ranzard and the Living Bum. <laughs> My local evil ice cream man, Billy Whippy. My Auntie Peg and Uncle Paddy. My pet evil Axolotl, Mr. Stinky. <laughs> Jimmy Sudge, who does such a good job of cleaning the evil windows in my secret volcano base of evil. My personal evil Pontiac, Pierre Font. Hey, no one veg! Tomatoes are a fruit, you ninny. <laughs> I'm as real as it gets. 
but I'd rather you didn't touch me. Of course I can't touch you. I'm a complete plum for thinking I could. You look so amazing, though. I always look this way. <laughs> I'm not worthy! I'm not worthy! You're the most beautiful, most talented, most brilliant person on earth, Danny. I guess some people are just born with it. <laughs> I have no choice, it's my job. <laughs> Sam is my personal beautician. She comes with me wherever I go. I think it's important to keep someone on hand at all times to ensure I stay looking naturally radiant. Well, I doubt I could ever look as lovely as you do. That's not true. Of course you could. What sort of makeup do you use to keep Danny looking so glamorous? Uh, it's a magic cream, isn't it, Sam? And it's only available to special famous people like me. <laughs> so what do you like to do in your spare time? Well, I'm so completely intellectual, I read at least five books a year. Wow. I wish I could be like you. What sort of advice would you give to a little person like me? You're not a little person. Shh. Danny is talking. <laughs> the best advice I can give is that talent can't be learnt. It's in the genes. Oh. Are you sure that's the sort of advice you should be giving someone who looks up to you? Be quiet, Samantha. <laughs> Only, I really want to be a successful actor one day like you. And I'd love to think that I had a chance. Dinner is served. Thank you. So, what's this? It's a seared fillet of peacock with a pomegranate jelly. It's what I always have for dinner, isn't it? It's what celebrities eat. Great. I can't wait to try the sort of food you like. <laughs> It's lovely, Danny. What is this muck? This muck is exactly what you told me to make. Do you have any idea how much trouble I had finding a supermarket that sold peacock fillets? Ah, what's going on? I'm trapped in some kind of net. Yes, thanks for pointing out the obvious, Jack. Aha! <laughs> Energize for maximum destruction, strike again. Max, get this thing off me. Never. Not until your so-called fan agrees to pay the ransom of five million pounds. No. Five billion pounds! Five million billion zillion billy lily zillion pounds! I don't have that sort of money! Nobody does, it's not even a number! But I have no choice but to use my patented spray of paint a drop! <laughs> when the countdown hits zero, the device will explode, showering you and this entire room in paint. It isn't just any paint, it's blue paint. Blue is for boys. Max, why are you doing this? When this girl sees her idol covered in paint, her air of mystique will be evaporated. Danny will be revealed as the ordinary, plain, boring girl she really is. Well, that won't matter if you get paint on the walls because Mum and Dad will kill us both. Oh, I didn't think of that. Do you still live with your Mum and Dad? Um, no. Um, Max! This is outrageous. Do you not know who I am? I am Danny, and in the last couple of days alone, I have received precisely 976 letters from my adoring fans. Um, fan. What? I wrote all those letters. All of them? <laughs> Took me ages. Told you I'm your number one fan, Danny. So, Danny isn't a role model to millions of girls after all? Nope. Looks like it's just me. <laughs> ben. Help me to stop the spray painter tron quick! But you can't stop it! You built it without an off button, remember? Or just throw it out the window. I can't. Once activated, the device has a motion sensor. Moving it will set it off. Well, just throw something over the top of it! Like what? Like Ben! <gasps> no time! There's only five seconds left! Four! Three! Two! I'll save you, Danny! One! <laughs> Why did you do that? Well, I couldn't let Danny get covered in paint. She's my hero. <sighs> Olivia, you've got to stop with this hero worship stuff. I'm not the glamorous celeb you think I am. I don't understand. <sighs> Look, I'm just an ordinary girl that happens to be on the television. The clothes, the hair, the dog. It was just to impress you. But I wanted to impress you. Why would you want to impress me? I just didn't want to disappoint you. So you're not that different to me after all. Thank goodness for that. You don't mind? Of course not. That's a lot to live up to. Look, you saved us all. If anyone's a hero around here, it's you. Can I have that hug now? <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I guess we suck at being villains as well as heroes, Max. Quiet, Ben. Max, wait! <laughs> Max, wait! Stop! <laughs> Well, that's been the den back to rights. Admit it. You loved thinking you had thousands of fans who thought you were amazing. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. But if you ever get wind that fame has changed me for the worse, you know what to do. Yeah, we'll put that video of you dancing online. Yeah, you know the one where your skirt falls down, you trip over it and fall headfirst into a fountain? <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, Dex, how I've missed you. And I better get back to my NASA revision. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Spellbomb, don't give up on me! One day, Tony. One day soon, I shall have the victory that has long been denied to me. I know we stopped being super villains now, but I think the fashion's got a lot going for them. What do you think? I think you look ridiculous. Wait a minute, are those my pants? Uh, no. Take them off this instant. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thanks for letting me borrow your clothes, Tenny. It's the least I could do. Hey, I was thinking, why don't you hang out with us for a bit? I was just about to watch a DVD and order pizza. Seriously? I watch DVDs and order pizza with my friends, too. Turns out we really are quite similar. <laughs> I'm just an ordinary girl like you. I like that. <laughs> Pi is approximately equal to 3.1... Your friends are a bit weird. Tell me about it. Did I have to say fingers? Yes, it was. Who's daddy's favourite boy? Come on, Rita! Believe this. Fan? Can I meet them? Stay right there. Come on, Rita! Meet your biggest fan! Hilarious. Ambulance! I think I've broken my bottom bone.